Hello, 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 crafty friends. It's Robin from Raincross Farms Makery. Welcome to another fun evening of crafting with us. So we are so happy to be uh, hosting this segment of Craft Around the Clock. So welcome, whether you're one of our regular followers or if you just picked us up from Craft Around the Clock, we welcome you with open arms. Behind the camera, behind the computer is my husband, Bill. You might hear him from time to time. And I'm going to get my computer up and going. I can't do it beforehand. I I know I don't like I don't like it when people don't just start paying attention to me right away. But I've got to get this done first. Enable and publish. Good to go. So when you get here, say hi in the comments so we know you're here. And that looks good. I'll turn that off. And okay. So again, thanks so much for joining us. Say hello in the comments. We are having a, we have started doing a weekly giveaway drawing and our next one will be, what is it? Sunday, May 7th. And if you want to get entered into that drawing, you need to visit one of my lives and enter the keyword. The keyword tonight is congratulations. Congratulations. It should be coming up in a pinned comment very soon. And once you click that, you will get, you should get notification to your messenger telling you that you're entered. And then it'll give you some optional other buttons that you can push to find out more information about uh, some of the things that we've done tonight. So again, we would love, well, not again, we would love it if you would give our page a heart. If you'd follow our page, Raincross Farms Maker, if you're not already, so you can catch us live other times. And if you are so inclined, would you please sprinkle our video out to your crafty friends? Or if you, as you see this craft take place, somebody comes to mind, feel free to tag them in the comments or share it to their page. Just let them know about it. So we certainly appreciate that. Awesome. One other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start my timer because we also have a giveaway tonight for some happy mail. And the way you get entered in that is I'm going to, I'm going to say hi in just a second. The way you get entered into our giveaway for tonight is when my timer goes off in a random amount of minutes, the last person to have commented gets their name in on a ticket entered into the drawing. So you get entered by commenting and commenting frequently so that hopefully you are the last one when the timer goes off. So that's what that's all about. So let's get crafting. Okay. Hello, Betty. Thank you for sprinkling. Hello, Mimi. Hello, Dottie. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Wanda. Hello, Loretta. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Robin. That's my name. Cynthia. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks so much. We got a lot of people on. You're probably wondering, what, are we having dinner? Well, we will be later. But my craft requires a can, and I like the cans with the little pop tops. What we're going to do is we are going to take that can, and we are going to turn it into a gift package. Now, Trust me, inside here is not soup. Inside here is a little gifty, a little gift item. And so I, I made this up. It says happy birthday on one side. Here's to the best year yet on that side. So I'm going to show you how to do these because they're super cute. They're great for Mother's Day coming up, graduations coming up, Father's Day coming up. Just, just a special thank you gift or whatever. Okay, so... Where to begin? Where to begin? You, you use pop top cans too, but yes, they are much easier. Hi, Tara. Hello, Laurel. Thank you for sprinkling, Deborah. I don't know if I already told you that. Anyway, picking out your can. Other than a pop top, here's the other thing I've noticed. You know how sometimes the cans stack? That's because in the bottom here, they kind of have a groove. You're not, you don't want those. Those don't work as well, this method. So if it stacks like that, that's probably not one that you want. Now this one, however, just has that rim and it doesn't stack securely. It doesn't lock in there. So this is the type of can we're gonna use. So put that aside. <clears throat> the 
can. We are going to use a can opener. We are not going to open this side. We're going to open the bottom. And I'm not going to use a regular can opener. I'm going to use one of these safety can openers. And I don't know how it works. It's magic. It pulls the top off and it doesn't leave that sharp edge because, you you know, how many of you have cut yourself with sharp edge? Hey, Cheryl. So this is a safety can opener. You can get it just about anywhere, Walmart, online, Target. Anyway, safety can opener, bottom, bottom of the can, and you just attach it, open it up. Thanks for sprinkling. Open, open, open. And we're going to have to use some pineapple tidbits soon because <laughs> I'm opening the can just to show you how. Okay, once it gets all the way around and then it comes off and no, now be careful. There is, it is kind of sharp at times. So I have cut myself, but it's not that super razor blade sharp. So it, it comes off like that perfect for what we need. So take all your stuff out of it, wash the can up really, really well. Don't throw away the, the bottom lid. You're gonna need that to take the label off and we are ready to craft. Okay, I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna try not to kick that over or we'll have pineapple everywhere. Okay, any questions so far? Oh, Deborah has one of the can openers. Yes, I love them too. Hey, Texas Breeze. Okay, so I have one that I've already emptied and washed. So you can see, I didn't open up the top. I wanted to keep that intact. I took the bottom off, washed it, cleaned it, uh, got rid of all the, the label residue and whatnot. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint this. So let me get a little cardboard and I'm just gonna use some chalk paint. This is Waverly White. You could use acrylic also. I just find acrylic takes a little longer to dry. So I'm going to just paint around the edges. I'm trying not to be sloppy. Oh, timer. Oh, last one, Cheryl Brock. Cheryl Brock. Cheryl Brock is the last one. Let me finish this and then I will put your name down. Okay, so Cheryl is entered into our drawing. I have reset the timer and so keep commenting. Do Duke and Daisy like pineapple? Yes, they do. Uh, what is Cheryl? They especially like pineapple on their pizza. <laughs> okay, back to painting. It's helpful. I can just kind of stick my hand in here. So I'm actually going to give this two coats because when I do this, it is going to kind of show, kind of show through. So I kind of want to have an even, even looking surface. Um, I'll look up the link for the can opener on Amazon. Okay. Yeah, me, I think let me see if I can find it. I know that's a good grips. It's an OXO. OXO is o OXO. An OXO. Yeah. yeah. I'll look it up real quick and post the Amazon link to that. Yeah, they're great even if you're not crafting with them. If you don't want to deal with those sharp sharp can lids. I will say it does take a little bit more elbow grease to twist it off, but not not, not significantly awful. Okay, so white chalk paint, painted this up. I'm gonna give it a quick dry. Okay, and this will be a, an associate's link. Mm, Mimi likes pineapple pizza. I do too. I get it, some people don't. That's your preference. I like it without pineapple too. Hello, Robin. Hello, Wanda. Okay. More for bottles than I do for cans. Okay, I haven't tried it on a bottle. From Indiana. What part of Indiana? We used to travel to Laporte and Hannah every summer growing up. 
I don't know if that's near you. You have one from Pampered Chef. Yes, it's just a safety can opener and it, I guess it does kind of use a blade to pierce it, but it doesn't really pierce the metal. I think it opens up the seam somehow. Okay, we've got, ooh, you got pepperoni, pineapple, and jalapeno. That sounds like something Bill would like. Yep. Yours may not have the bottle. Okay, probably yeah. not. So it's an attachment. No, you got mine because of grandkids. It's an oh. so. Oh, it's still has another one. Another okay. Yeah. I probably got that at Walmart or Target, to be honest, but they're available online, Amazon. They're available. Any type of home goods store should have them. Okay. Yours has for soda bottles and pop top bottles. Okay. Got mine because of the grandkids. Yes, you don't want them playing with those sharp can edges. Okay. So I've got that dried and I'm going, you can kind of see it's kind of blotchy. I'm going to give it just a quick second coat so it's a little smoother. This is not crucial, but I do kind of want it to look decent. It is going to get covered up. Betty says she lived in Laporte in the early oh, really? 80s and Hannah is about 40 miles. Um, west of where she lives now in Rochester. Okay. My grandparents lived, well, their mailing address was Rural Route 2, Box 426. Don't ask me how I can remember that. I don't remember what I had for breakfast this morning, but I can remember my grandparents' address, and they have been gone for years. Lots of good memories of Indiana. Lightning bugs. That was lightning bugs. That was something I was never able to give my children. We tried. We went to Oklahoma. We thought we could take them. I wanted to show them real lightning bugs. Never did. We took them to Oklahoma, and of course they said, no, with our weather this year, we haven't had them. Great. I bring my kids all the way out here and you don't even have your lightning bugs out. So they'll just have to see them on their own. Okay, there's my timer. Oh, that's Maria. Maria Andrade Lynch. Andrade Lynch. First time watching. Yay. Maria Andrade Lynch. Okay, so you are entered into our end of the live drawing. And I'm going to give this just a quick dry, and then I'm going to go on to the next part where we're going to decorate. Now, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do a birthday one. That's the one I did for my sample. I'm going to do a graduation one. You remember your grandparents' address? Yeah, it's funny. Things that'll do that. Things, some, some things you just remember. Well, we are glad to have you, Darlene. First time from Ohio. Five White River and 624 Main Street. I don't remember their phone number because back then you didn't make long distance phone calls unless it was an emergency. So, so we wrote letters. That was this was before FaceTime and email and Facebook. So I got to see my grandparents for just under two weeks every year. My dad got two weeks of vacation and we drove back there and we drove home. So we probably had a good 10 days of vacation with them. Okay, I'm going to continue to let this dry and I'm going to move on to the next part. I, I, I do remember my own childhood address, too. Cece, welcome from Wisconsin. Okay, so this, the sample one I did, I used my birthday transfer. It says best year yet. For this one, I'm going to use, this one is called Congrats. Congrats and Class of. So this is perfect for val uh, Valentine's Day. For graduation, it says Congrats, Grad. 
congratulations, grad, a little mortarboard, class of all of the all of the numbers you could need for the rest of for the rest of time. They give you 2023, but they also you can also change that three out for four next year. So this is what we're going to use tonight. Okay. Um Sarah asked. Oh boy, it moved up on me. Okay. Sarah asked if you use uh, a heat gun to get the label off. I did. Um, well, just to get that little gluey part off. I did. I just pulled out my, actually my embossing gun. If you had a really hot heat gun, I did. And that softened it up and I just kind of wiped it off. Or you could just scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub, which is doable too. Okay. On um, these transfers, I like to keep them uh, on this, the backer sheet intact. This is a sticky backed transfer, a silk screen. And I am going to, we're gonna use Congrats Grad on this project. So I'm just going to just barely cut through that screen. And then I'll just peel it up and the backer sheet will remain intact. Okay, what am I going to put it on? If I tried to chalk it on this with all those ridges, it would be a hot mess. We don't like hot messes. So I'm going to chalk on tissue paper. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but it's possible. Oh, you, I love your name too, although we spell it differently, but that's okay. And okay, so uh, note to, note to yourself when you're if you do this project and you do it with tissue paper, use the good stuff. Don't don't try to do it with the Dollar Tree um, the Dollar Tree tissue paper. It just isn't durable. D not that there's anything wrong with Dollar Tree tissue paper, but for this project, because I'm going to be chalking on it. I need a little better quality. And I saw this, I got this at Home Goods. I think it was like $4 for this whole pack. And I saw this in there with these beautiful gold stripes. So that's what I'm going to use tonight. So it's a little bit better quality. And what I want to do is I'm gonna wrap it around my can. So let me measure. How tall is my can? So it's four, four and a quarter inches. So I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter inches. So let me, let me just fold it in half for a second. And I've got, I've got my, my big old clear ruler and what did I say? Four and a quarter. So I'm going to chop off those frilly edges, which are cute, but not for this project. You my did ruler. reset your timer. Oh my goodness. And you've got it. So all you have to do is hit the button. I twice. know. I know. Well, tell you what, the next time it goes off, we'll pick two. We'll pick two. We'll pick two. All right. Okay, so let's see. Spin it around this way because I'm right-handed. And I'm going to do four and a quarter. Mimi, yes. Hobby Lobby's tissue paper should be yes. pretty good quality. Yes. But, you know, for this craft, it, it you don't need a lot of it. So I trimmed this four and a quarter. So that is as tall as this is, and I'm going to figure out where to cut it. So I want it just to slightly overlap. Where'd that wrinkle come from? Okay, I want it to just slightly overlap. Trim it there. Okay, next important thing about chalking on tissue paper. 
This is paper. You know what happens if you put a sticker on paper and then you go to take the sticker off. You can't get it off the paper. So we have to protect this paper. The lines make me dizzy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll slow down. Okay, so we are going to wax our tissue paper. So this is surface wax. It's just clear wax. So I'm going to put a little thin layer of my surface wax on my tissue paper that will protect it from the stickiness. I don't want a lot, but I do want it covered. And then just kind of lightly buff off any excess. So again, protecting this from the stickiness. This is a very different craft. Well, and honestly, this, this is just my thing doing the chalking and stuff. You can decorate this up with the fancy tissue paper, you know, the printed tissue paper, do the Mod Podge with it the same way I'm going to do it. Um, but this, I feel like I can kind of customize it a bit. So take the idea and run with it. And if you do chalk, realize that you can, you can use that with it. I've never thought of that. Does the wax leave a film? Slightly, what you want it to, because you want it to avoid the stickiness, but it will, over a few minutes time, it will kind of sink in and it won't, it will kind of absorb into the paper and it won't leave a, a long-term sticky film. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some fuzz on my on my transfer. So interesting. Wanda loves your yes. shirt. Thank you. And you do you screen pretty I that well I yeah I chalked this. This is one of our transfers, queen of everything. So I'm going to peel this off and I'm going to lay it down on my towel and I'm gonna do what's called fuzzing. Basically I am putting some lint attaching some lint to the adhesive so it doesn't grab on so tight to that tissue paper. So I'm going to put a lot of fuzz on it just because this is the first time I've used it. So it's extra, extra sticky. And I never would have thought of using tissue. That's, you know, tissue paper, napkins, um, anything that you've seen crafters do with that Mod Podge, you know, you could do that. But I wanted it, I wanted to choose the words that go on it and not just a design. Okay, so I've got, I'm going to do congrats, grad, and I'm going to lay this down. I'm actually going to go a little bit lower than center. And I'm going to lightly push just where the transfer is. There's a big old piece of something. So I, I don't want to push stickiness onto this tissue paper any more than necessary. So let's see, congrats. And let's do grad. Here. Okay. All right. You Who were the last uh, two? We're going to do Wanda. Wanda Strickler, you are entered. And, and, and Laurel, Beth. Laurel Beth Bergstrom. I love your name. If we ever had a daughter, her name was going to be Bethany. Bethany. And then I also thought if I ever had a second daughter, I would name her either Laura or Laurel. But I never had a daughter, so you can be my daughter, Laurel Beth. Okay, so I've got this down. I'm going to, I'm going to just do it simple. I'm going to actually use my Shimmer Moonlight paste because it's blue. I'm thinking um, graduation colors. You might keep that in mind at whatever high school or whatever they're coming from. But I thought this dark blue and gold would go good with this. If you check out the cart link that I put up, I think I just put in black paste, but you're welcome to scroll through the shop and 
add add other a different color if you choose. Now this is Chalkology paste. It's chalk in paste form. This is one of our shimmers, so did it's you got. Set your I did. Yeah. So it's got mica flex in there. I don't know if the camera picks that up. Makes it all sparkly. Okay. So I'm putting a little bit of it on a squeegee, and I'm dragging that paste. It is. It's picking up good. Over the screen. Speaking of paste, we are having our color craze right now. So for the month of May, while supplies last, we are offering buy three, get one free, any jar of paste or ink interchangeable. So buy that's basically 25% off. So if this is a if this is sometime you've been wanting to stock up on some colors, this is a great chance to do that. Scrape off the excess. Now this part, just be patient, because if it's gonna stick, you need to go really slow and gently, and I'm going to kind of pull it almost parallel. Yay, it didn't stick. That's because I waxed my tissue paper and I fuzzed my transfer. So I'm gonna put that down on a drying mat and I'm going to peel this off the same way. Am I doing on time? Okay. Slowly, gently, if it starts to rip, stop, and then come at it from another direction. And that worked out good. So here is the finished, well, not the finished piece. Sorry about those lines if they're making you sick and dizzy. Congrats, grad. So we're going to let that dry for a second. I'm going to clean up my jars. I'm going to spray my transfer when I'm, I'm not quite ready to clean them yet. But in the meantime, I'm just keeping them damp because they're easier to clean when the paste is, is still wet, still damp than when it's dry. Not impossible, but much easier. Now I'm going to dry this up. And I want to make sure this is dried really, really well for the next step. Thank you, Laurel. It's me. This is crazy. This is crazy. Crazy good, though, right? So huge. The blue looks great in person, works with the gold. It does, but black would be awesome too. Now you could, you could certainly change it up. You could put on class of whatever. I'm just keeping it kind of simple. I could even go in and put in more. Uh, completely up to you. Oh, the crap's going through your head now. Yes, just with can. Of course, you have to eat whatever's in the can. <laughs> but, okay. Okay, so I think that is dry. So I'm gonna get my can back. Again, this is just a, this was a can of pineapples chunks. Okay, I need another name. And then I took the bottom off with a safety can opener. So That's there's so there's no sharp edges. So the Jesse Scott. Jesse Sot. Yes. Okay, you are entered. Timer is reset. So now I'm gonna switch to Mod Podge. This happens to be matte. You could use you could use um gloss doesn't matter so now the important thing is to remember to apply this face up with the pop top on the top so that needs to be the top of my can i'm kind of looking for my seam i think that's my seam and i'm going to put just thin 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 layer of mod podge now this is where if you didn't if you didn't want to chalk your Tissue paper, you could use any tissue paper. You could use scrapbook paper. You could use napkins. 
whatever you are comfortable with. And now I'm going to, my hand's shaking because I don't want it to be crooked. So I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to try not to mess with it too much. I'm just gonna lightly kind of push it down with my finger. I'm gonna get some wrinkles and I'm just gonna have to live with that. Okay. And then I'm gonna fold that back, do another thin, thin, thin layer. I don't want a lot of this stuff. And flap that Not over. Not to interrupt what you're doing question is, what is the, what do the paste cost, the can of paste? And are there people that can, how do they get a hold of your, you, if they want to order something? Okay. Um, if you typed in, if you typed in, what was the keyword? Congratulations. You should have gotten a message to your messenger. If you didn't, let me know. And then one of the choices of buttons that you can push on that message says uh, product info. And um, if you click on that, it should come up with some other choices. And you want to pick the one that says uh, color craze, shop color craze. And that will take you to the portion of my website that just has the pastes and inks. So you can, you can see the prices, you can see the colors. And again, it is buy three, get one free. I believe retail price is $16. So you'd be getting them 20, basically 25% off of that. And you can mix and match inks. You can mix and match pastes. CC says wrinkles add character. Do they? Tell On that to my, too? tell that to my face. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not I'm not globbing this Mod Podge on because I don't I don't want it to soak through the tissue. And then I'm going to end this. And for those that are coming in new, I'm going to post it again. Tonight's keyword is congratulations if you put in the weekly drawing. Can you use chalk paint on cloth if you're not washing it? Yes, you can. If you use just regular chalk paste, you can put it on fabric. It just will not be permanent. So I'm just kind of taking my fingers and pushing it down. Don't rub. Pushing it down so it's all adhered. And there is my congrats grad. The bottom is open. Now, I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna do it live, but when this is dry, I'm gonna go back over it again with another layer of Mod Podge over the top to kind of protect that, but it'll take too long to dry. So I'm not going to do that now, but here's the fun part. So this is, your outside is pretty much done. So now I'm going to, I'm gonna fill it with some little party filler and Whatever you can fit in here is is fair game. So I'm gonna put in I'm gonna put in some chapstick. Uh, I'm gonna put in some jewelry. I'm gonna oh I'm gonna put in some money. Only a dollar because I'm really gonna seal this up. Okay, put in money. Grads love money. <laughs> Gift cards. Amazon. Hobby Lobby. Put in some gift cards. Oh, we got beeper going. Okay, timer. Uh, that was Deborah Wilkinson. Deborah. Okay, you are entered in our drawing, Deborah. Okay, so whatever you want in here, stick it in. Put in a little more filler if you don't want it to rattle around. Cool, cool, cool. This you can also do this. You could actually leave. I could actually leave the the wrapper on and use this as some place to hide your valuables in your cupboard. Stick your valuables in here. It's still got the soup can label, whatever on it, and you're good to go. Okay, now the lid. 
I'm going to super glue the outside of that lid. I'm not going to hot glue because that, that makes a hot mess. So I'm just going to use some super glue and I'm going to go around that outside edge and I don't even have to get it absolutely everywhere. But you want to make sure everything that's in there is in there. And I'm going to stick that right on the bottom of the can, push it down, and it my can is resealed. Don't put food in it though, because it's not it's not processed. And ta-da! Something else I thought might be cute with the grad. This, what I did with, with the birthday is I just kind of attached some little frou-frou ribbon, but graduation cap, we have got to, you got to make a graduation cap, right? Okay, so let me, this is just a one inch strip of, uh, what is this? Cardstock. Okay, so I want that to go around, not too tightly, we're going to put a little grad cap on top of this guy. So this I'm switching over to hot glue. Glue in that shut. Okay, that fits good. Okay, then I have a square. This is this happens to be like a four inch square. See what I'm doing here? Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm making a cute little hat to go on this. So I'm going to try and glue this down. This is such a tiny little edge, but I don't need a lot of glue. Come on, get started. Put a little bit of glue around that edge. Plop it down in the middle. Dun, 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 dun. Push it down till it sets. Perfect grad gift, yes. Or, and, but and you can change it out. Any type of gift. You can stuff it more so it doesn't make so much noise, or not. Great for Christmas. Could you imagine all your kids getting there? <laughs> and if you didn't do the pop top. You could still do it. You would just have to open the can on the top. So if you wanted to use those great big, what, size one or whatever, those great big cans, you could do that. Okay, so here I have my little graduation hat just kind of perched on the top. It and a blue tassel. Well, blue I have a gold tassel. Ooh, I gold made the, tassel. I don't have time to show you how to make a tassel, but what I basically do is I wrap and this was gold, gold cord. I wrap gold cord around, uh, what did I wrap it around? Something like this, just to get my size. I wrapped it around and around and around and around. And then I tied it off at the top. And then I tied it right here after that little bump thing. And then I trimmed off the edges. So we are going to, let's see. We don't need it this long. Jesse says for Christmas you could put Santa and You could. Up you on. could do that. That would be awesome. Betty says her grandson has had the fifth grade graduation this year. That would be so cute. Even like kindergarten graduations. You just need the, you just need a bunch of cans. Now, do keep in mind remind oh, there's me. A beat. Do keep in mind, one. when you peel off the pop top. That would be CC. CC. CC Walsh Mueller. Okay. And you know what? We're running out of time, but let's set this for one more. Okay, so I've got that glued down. Firecrackers for 4th for of, of July. Anytime you need a little, just a, a little gifty thing. I didn't get a chance to paint this gold, but it's kind of gold already. It's just a little button to put on the top. 
Maybe it should have been a black button. I don't know, but we're getting a gold one. Ow, hot. That came up through the holes in the button. <laughs> don't burn yourself. Okay, so to be there you go. Isn't that cute? So this specifically for graduation, but any occasion it would work for. And then to open it up, you just open the pop top. Now, if you're doing this with children, remember, once they pull up that pop top, that is going to be a sharp edge. So don't just give it to children unattended. They must be supervised to open this up. But aren't those cute? So when the grad gets it, they can pull that off, open it up, and it's awesome. I'm loving it. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pose here with this for a second. <laughs> so I have a screenshot to post. Cheryl says she's gonna send all of her grandkids veg. Vegetables. vegetables or you could just wrap them up and give them their vegetables okay vegetables okay so let's do you know what i didn't set the, i set the timer but it didn't go off okay okay who has the last comment oh my goodness they're flying by <laughs> um betty betty, betty? Open, open. Be Garner. Betty Hoopengarner. Okay, last entry. Okay, so I hope you like this idea. Feel free to run with it. Send me pictures if you do it. And remember, I, just, I use chalk products. You don't have to. You could do it with whatever you want. So just use the idea. But if you like the chalk products, check out my website. Um, I also have sample kits available if you're interested in giving giving chalking a try but don't want to invest a lot in it. Um, just you can just type sample in the comments and I'll reach out to you. I think it's one of the options. It's one of the options on the buttons too. Um, anyway, don't forget our color craze sale going on. And let's do our drawing. Let's do two winners. Make sure you like and follow the page. Yes, please and like. we also are on YouTube. We have over 150. We no, we have 500 videos. and some. Oh, no, videos. videos. Yeah. Okay. Okay, first winner, Cece Walsh Mueller. Hey, Cece, Cece, are you still here? She is. She and is I'm going to do a second winner. Second winner is Wanda Strickler. Wanda Strickler. Yeah, I see Rhonda's there. Yay. So I will reach out to Cece and R Wanda um, a little bit later tonight. I'm going to I'm gonna clean up down here. Then I'll go to my computer. I'll, I'll reach you by messenger. Don't feel like you have to respond to me tonight because I know it might be late where you are. But no, I'm going to be sending you a message and want to get a little bit more information so I can send you the perfect happy mail. And thank you everyone for watching and supporting us. Follow our page if you're not already. We do crap, we, we do videos four, three, four times a week. And I try to get lots of new ideas. Anyway, again, again, thanks for joining us. Uh, we are so thankful for Craft Around the Clock viewers who have joined us on this one, and we're going to let you go. You can see the next the next crafter up, and we hope you'll return to us soon later. Okay, bye-bye. Have a great rest of your week.